Welcome back to the Bolarama in Sanford, Maine for another first round match in the Pro Series Singles Knockout Tournament. In this match, you're going to be seeing the 10th seed, Mike Morgan, who qualified for match play with a 658 against the 23rd seed, Bob Whitcomb, who had 628 in the five string qualifying round. Bob Whitcomb will be starting on the left lane, lane 13, and Mike Morgan will be starting on lane 14. Mike starts off with a 6 drop, leaving the 1, 3, 6, 8. Bob, Bob Whitcomb with a 9, leaving the 4 pin. Both of these guys, I'm sure, are well known to followers of the candle pin. Oh my, and there is a... Well, you can see what happened. Bob Whitcomb missed the four by uh, several inches, but he, he caught the cap of a piece of wood which came off the wall, and you can see it rolls into that other piece of wood. So that's, uh, that's a pretty lucky spare in the first box, but Bob is not smiling about it. He's just gonna take it and move on. Meanwhile, Mike Morgan with a 10 box. Mike is a former world singles champion, and uh, Bob Whitcomb has won the uh, season-ending Comcast Candlepin Challenge uh, championship competition. He was the guy holding the big check at the end of the uh, end of the season a few years ago. Mike Morgan with a spare in the second box. Bob Whitcomb with seven on his spare in the first. And both Bob Whitcomb and Mike Morgan are regulars in the World Team Tournament. Bob is a member of the Maria Subs team that won the tournament a couple of years ago. Bob with a 10 in the second box. And Bob Whitcomb is also a very accomplished duck pin bowler. A year or two ago, he went down to uh, a duck pin pro tournament at Town Hall Lanes in Johnston, Rhode Island, and he finished third against the best duck pin bowlers in the U.S. I think that's probably uh, the highest finish they've seen in a long time from someone using house balls because Bob didn't even have his own equipment at that time but he uh, really did phenomenally well against the best duck pin bowlers and a frustrating box here as Mike Morgan and Bob Whitcomb will be open they both uh, hit the object pin but uh, weren't able to convert the spares. So after three boxes, Bob Whitcomb leads Mike Morgan 37 to 35. Mike Morgan drops nine in the fourth box, leaving a two pin. Bob Whitcomb drops eight with a nice one three pocket hit. He leaves a four seven. And Mike goes by that two pin. That's not characteristic of him. You don't see him missing a lot of spares. And Bob Whitcomb with a nice ball there. He hit, hit the fork and just caught a little bit too much of it and punched it off the seven. So he'll be open. Mike Morgan with a 10. Always easier on the third ball, but uh, both, both bowlers with 10. So Bob Whitcomb retains his two pin lead, 47 to 45 through four. Mike Morgan dropping seven in the fifth box, leaving the 478 triangle with several pieces of wood out in front. I think there are three pieces of wood in front and the first one is basically perpendicular to the lane but the two behind it are at an angle and you can see what happened. That really uh, that was some, some pretty tough wood. He just couldn't get through to get the seven pin. And Bob Whitcomb gets robbed again. He really made a... He, that was just almost where he needed to be, but he just caught a little bit too much of the, the uh, two-pin. 
and the um, four pin was deflected around the seven instead of hitting it. So it's another ten box. Now let's take an, a look at, at the um, the spare attempt by Mike Morgan in the fifth as he hits just about on the red line on this first piece of wood, but the the uh, pieces of wood behind that first wood just prevent anything from getting back to that seven pin, and this wood comes off the wall and then just comes to rest in front of the seven and doesn't hit it. So looking at the score through five, Bob Whitcomb still leads Mike Morgan by two pins, 57 to 55. As they switch lanes, Bob goes over to lane 14 and Mike will finish on lane 13. Bob Whitcomb punches out the half Worcester left side, takes out the 2 and 8. And Mike Morgan goes through the middle, taking out the 1 5 9. So this is really a, really a grind, this game. This match, both bowlers have really had to work hard and just haven't been getting a lot of breaks at all. Except for that first spare in the uh, that Bob Whitcomb had when he hit the stray piece of wood and it came off the wall. Other than that, it's been bad breaks all around. And Bob with a nice shot for a 10, and meanwhile another bad break for Mike Morgan as he just punches out the 2 pin. You'll see on the replay, Bob does a great job converting this 10, and Mike hits the 2 pin almost exactly where he wants to, but just a little bit too high, and so the ball goes in between the 4 and 8. So that gives him a 6 box instead of uh, 8 or 9. So that makes it a six pin lead for Bob Whitcomb. 67 to Mike Morgan, 61 through six. Bob with another nice pocket hit. Leaving a 410. Couple of pieces of wood. Not sure what he can do with it. And Mike Morgan has the 278, and he does not like that piece of wood because it's basically just it's perpendicular to the lane. So um, I think that's Sean Morrison in back telling uh, Mike to go right at the two pin. That's a that is a tough leave because there, it, covering all three of those pins is really going to be difficult. And Bob Whitcomb with a nice bid, and Mike Morgan with the spare. Let's see what Mike Morgan did exactly that he went right at the two pin and you will see the ball goes up and takes just hits the the top of the seven pin and meanwhile the two pin goes straight back into the eight pin that's really a good conversion he just didn't have much room at all to go uh, to, to cover all three of those pins so it's a spare for mike morgan and bob has another 10 that's his sixth consecutive 10 box he's got 77 through Seven. Mike Morgan has 71 plus the fill ball on that spare. And Bob with another split that's almost identical to the one he had in the last box. He really, uh, Bob is being punished for something, but I don't know what. He's really thrown some awfully good balls and had not much to show for it. Meanwhile, Mike Morgan fills the spare with nine, so he takes a three pin lead, 80 to 77 through seven. Ooh, and neither guy is able to make it. I, Mike wanted to avoid that double wood in the gutter next to the 10 pin. And so he was trying to use the wood to to convert. And it turns out he's able to get, get at it anyway on the third ball. Let's take a closer look. I'm not sure exactly what Mike was trying to do. He might have been trying to go to the left of there and to sweep that wood over into the 10. I doubt he was playing it to get to hit the cap the way he did, although he did want to avoid that 10 pin, the, the uh, double wood next to 10 pin. And in any case, it's a, a 10 box, and Mike Morgan has 90 through 8 to 87 for Bob. So this one is going right down to the wire. Bob Whitcomb drops 7, leaving 3, 6, 10. 
couple of pieces of wood that one of them is between the three and six and the other one is at an angle almost parallel to the lane but it's a little bit to the left and in front of the three. Ooh, and Bob hits the cap of that wood and it, the ball goes around the three six. And Mike Morgan, meanwhile, goes by the uh, two five, doesn't get the two. So they're gonna, both gonna be open again in the ninth. Bob with a 10. And Mike also with a 10. So going, we go down to the 10th frame. Mike Morgan still has a three pin lead. He's got 100 through nine and Bob Whitcomb with 97. So this marquee matchup is uh, maybe not the high scoring matchup you, you would have expected, but it's certainly making up for it by being a close match. Bob smashes the pocket there. It's everything but the eight pin. Mike Morgan, what's that wood going to do? He's got the four, five, seven, and the wood hey, right now, like this. positions. It uh, really doesn't look too bad. Bob makes the spare. So that means that Mike Morgan has to make this spare because he's got that three pin lead and he's got it. Let's have another look at the uh, the replay. You, you can see that Mike just hits right about on the red line and that wood covers all three pins nicely. He was fortunate that the, uh, the wood spun around and, and finished up where it did. So with one ball to go, Mike Morgan leads by three. Bob Whitcomb needs a big fill, obviously. And he's got only six, so that means that Mike needs three to tie, four to win. And there it is. It's four pins, exactly. So Mike Morgan wins this match by one pin. 114 to 113 over Bob Whitcomb. So Mike Morgan will move on to the next round here in the Pro Series Singles Knockout Tournament at the Bolarama in Sanford, Maine.